What's up everybody, Justin here bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Southern Barrel Brewing Company in Bluffton, South Carolina. This is, there it is, Damn Yankee IPA. Okay, look at the full, full can art there. Uh, here's what the brewery has to say. New England style IPAs are hitting the shores of South Carolina and we personally hope they never leave. Our damn Yankee salutes the juicy cloudy IPAs that make this style all the rage. Crack open a can and celebrate the power of hops. Now the uh, website uh, gives the uh, ABV and IBUs a 6.4% ABV 55 IBU. The data sheet for the beer um, also on the website but in a different, uh, different format says 6% ABV, that's also what's on the can here, and 60 IBU. The data sheet also lists the malts used, pale, wheat, melanoid, and, and carafoam, and hops used, mosaic, citra, and columbus. All right, quite a head on that one. I still have uh, probably two ounces or so left in the can and I've got uh, three or so fingers worth of head three of my big old fingers so probably in the three and a half range for normal I would say uh, quite cloudy kind of a, an orange kind of an iced tea-ish color and really solidifies that orange with some uh, some yellow gold highlights around the edges as I hold it up to the light. Again, quite see-through. So I'm not really seeing any specific uh, larger particulate matter in this case. Let's see if I can get the rest of this in. Almost. Almost there. All right. Got it in. Uh, head's still hanging around a good bit, probably down to about two fingers now, roughly. So, uh, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Quite tart to lead off uh, kind of grapefruit note going on. Uh, in addition, maybe getting a little bit of a lemon thing as well. I feel like I should, I feel like I should note as I poured in the last of the glass, I can definitely see, uh, I don't see any specific particulate matter, but it's kind of, uh, the haziness is kind of going around in ribbons around the the beer. So you can see like lighter bands and darker bands and so forth. And I think that any part really gave it like an herbal or an earthy kind of thing. Almost almost kind of reminded me of, I mentioned iced tea in the description. I'm almost kind of feeling something like that in the in the um, taste as well. Maybe just a hint of pine, of just a real slight pine, but uh, generally pretty citrusy. That's really kind of the first note overall. And again, as I said, mostly grapefruit, maybe a little bit of lemon as well. Followed by, I think it's more of an herbal note than earthy. Hmm. Yeah, I believe I would call it herbal. Reminds me of some cooking spices. Again, reminds me of iced tea a little bit. I'd also say a, a, a medium to heavy body as well and a, a slightly juicy mouthfeel. They talk about it being a a juicy beer in the description and certainly as I said I'm getting uh, some 
some citrus juices in the in the flavor. It's maybe a slightly juicy mouthfeel. I think the uh, I think everything from the the bottom of the can, all the the herbal stuff, is cutting through that a little bit. So um, it's a nice, tasty beer. Pretty complex. And uh, good stuff from uh, Southern Barrel Brewing Company. Uh, really nice. Not at all what I expected. But that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews with video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find all those links in this, the description below. If you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.